All right, we're back with video number two in this series. Hopefully you watched the lesson and learned the shortcut, how to deal with complex fractions. Just to review that quickly, you multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of denominator. Hopefully that fits over here. That's the shortcut we learned in the last video. If you want to uh, learn how, how or why we came across that, you should review that video. Here we go. There are some practice problems. Let me zoom out so you can see them. There are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, pause the video. Write down the problems. Do the problems using the shortcut, multiply numerator by the reciprocal of denominator, and then come back and I will show the work in red. See you in a few minutes. Welcome back, here we go, quick and easy. Number one, we're gonna change five six divided by one half. We're gonna change that to five six times two over one because that's the reciprocal of the denominator 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 1 is 6, 10 6, which we can reduce to 5 thirds, or you could write as a mixed number, 1 and 2 thirds. Both are okay. Number 2, 1 half is the numerator, 3 halves is the reciprocal of the denominator, the R of the D, so we multiply straight across, 1 times 3, is 3. 2 times 2 is 4. The answer is 3 fourths. That is already simplified. We cannot reduce that any further. You zoom in just a hair. Moving on, number 3. We're going to change this to multiplication of the reciprocal of the denominator. That flips it to 4 thirds. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 times 3 is 24. We can reduce this to, we can divide top and bottom by 4, so we could get 7 6, which is the same as 1 and 1 6. Did you get that? I knew it, I knew it, you got this. Here's another one. Flip the denominator, multiply straight across, 45 over 40. Both of those are divisible by 5. It's the same as 9 over 8, or 1 and 1 8 as a mixed number. Did you get that? Of course you did. Next. We have some uh, different kinds. These are a little more challenging. I've got 2 thirds divided by 5. That's like saying 2 thirds over 5 over 1. Okay, so there's our fraction. So our reciprocal will be 1 fifth. So we're going to change this problem to 2 thirds times one-fifth. One-fifth is a reciprocal of five because when you multiply them the product is one. That's the definition of a reciprocal. So we're going to flip it to one-fifth. Two times one is two. Three times five is fifteen. That is simplified. And finally the last one where we have a single number is the numerator. We're just going to flip that denominator. We can add a one on the bottom of the numerator if you want to to show that it's still a complex fraction. We're going to flip this. Fourteen halves fit into seven. And there we go. How did you do? I got all six of them right. I bet you did too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.